Okay, number two. Oh, this is so important, and so many people just don't get this one. Stay in fellowship. Stay in fellowship. Psalm 122, 1, verses 1 through 2. I was overjoyed when they said, let's go up to the house of the Lord. James 5.16, James 5, confess your sins to one another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. We have to be together. We are a spiritual family. God's called us to help each other in so many ways. And this, this verse is the best. It's in the Passion. Hebrews 10, 24 through 25. Discover creative ways to encourage others and to motivate them toward acts of compassion, doing beautiful works of love. This is not the time to pull away and neglect meeting together, as some have formed the habit of doing. In fact, we should come together more frequently, eager to encourage and urge others onward as we anticipate the day dawning. So a lot of people, when you quote that scripture to them, that, that doctrine of the Lord, they will say, well, I don't have to go to church, you know, to worship the Lord. No, you should have a personal relationship where you worship the Lord. But back to number one, lovers of the truth, that's his word. And if you read Acts especially, there's a spiritual family that's working together. Everyone has gifts. Uh, Lori, will you come up here for a second? So a family is called a body. This is Lori. And is there any part of her body that is not functioning? No. Every piece. It, it's some, some parts are different than others. This one, this one right here is really, really important right now since she's engaged. <laughs> but every part is needed. And she can't just leave her foot at home. She would really be in pain. And if she broke this finger, if she broke it, she, her whole body would be in pain. We need one another. We cannot, in this time, think it's okay for me to isolate myself and just stay at home. We need each other. Thank you. 